Hello everybody, this is Roger with Robert's Garden Experiment. Um, today I am going to show you the progress that I've made with uh, using condensation with these cantaloupe seeds. At first, I put the material that goes into uh, diapers and those pads for elderly people and, and babies with diapers into this and I stuck a sponge in it and put a green uh, filter kind of like thing on top of it and after an amount of time I ended up uh, getting rid of that and what I did is I used some uh, coconut hair that uh, my brother had when he made the tomato plants in the beginning and I used that and used uh, the seeds and I want to show you the results of that my uh, results from the other stuff was pretty bad <clears throat> I ended up getting like white fungus looking stuff I didn't even know if it's fungus or if it was just growth but it seemed like it was strangling the plants but even like here you, you see it you get I don't know how well you can see it but this is the results of using that coconut hair and right down there you can see the white fungus stuff I was talking about but right here too especially on this root but it looks like the root is actually reactivated because this one was hurt I think or I believe it was two days ago and it reactivated inside of this and these are the results that I'm getting from using that I think this one was getting ready to die too and now I'm going to take these and I'm going to transplant them um, I've already transplanted one seed and I've gotten really good results this way by the way that's huge compared to what I've gotten right now I've got this I put it in a peanut butter jar and that's the only plant that I've been able to get that big and it's actually starting to brown I covered it with a garbage can with a bag over it and the reason why I did that was because we've been having infestation problems so I'm not wanting to take chances I uh, have that one that's grown out and it's getting ready to be transplanted but this one I did the day after I believe and I'm checking it today but it didn't it hasn't sprung up like that one did at least not that I know of but it's a day behind got two of them Two of them that are sprouting up right now as we speak one here and one here like I said I don't I can't tell if you guys are I'm doing it on the iPad but uh and I got that white stuff growing up on here too I've been using a baking a teaspoon of baking soda with or a tablespoon of baking soda with water I also use dish detergent with uh, cooking oil um, and then I yesterday I put uh, one aspirin in a little thing of water and mixed it and used fed it to them. And I'm guessing that's what really caused the caused the growth because they just started shooting up. Um, now I'm going to transplant these into bigger containers and I'm going to take them out of that soil because I'm only going to use that soil for seeds and I'm going to put them in these now I was told to at the most put four of them in each container so I'm going to put four in each corner of the container and hopefully they'll stay alive I uh, want to still be able to cover them, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. Um, but I will let you guys know when I'm done and show you the results. Okay, so this 
is basically the deal on what we got going here. I uh, put them inside of these containers like that. I use a clothes hanger here to elevate this plastic and I'm, the only reason why I'm using the plastic is to protect it from the bugs and the infestations and stuff. But from this point on it's a point of watering and you can't use condensation once they get this bigger they start dying off so I'm going to have to start watering okay so now we come to the mangoes we have two mangoes or mango seeds and I'm going to open these up I can't believe how far away that is I'm going to open these up and I'm going to put these in, they're, usually they say to put them in paper towels, but we only have toilet paper, so I'll be using toilet paper. Right there. And to open these mangoes, you look all around on the side right here and you take a knife or scissors or something like that and you just dig in like this. This isn't the seed, it's actually the surrounding part that protects the seed. But you pop it open like this. And as you can see, there's already a root growing, it looks like. inside I see yes I can't find the spot to show <laughs> now there we go and this is what it looks like when you take it out this is the stem that is going to do it and there's going to be roots growing out of here too somewhere but you take this and you wrap it in toilet paper now before i did this i was also told to take put it in your hand go to the sink and just wash it like a bar of soap and that's what i did the only reason why i have all these spots for in it is because i actually put them in newspaper to let them dry out after I did that and they got stained because of it now I come and I do it again just get it started and you grab it and you pry it open comes in. Now, I usually take these skins off. I don't know, nobody really says if you need to or not, but that's what I usually do. And you have this one. Now what I do is, since we have problems with infestations and little creatures, I, as soon as I get this started, I introduce these, uh, Seeds, all the seeds that I use, I introduce them to uh, baking soda and water, um, aspirin and water, 
sometimes I use peroxide in water and then I mix up uh, some dish detergent with some cooking oil and I spray it on them on both sides. You don't have to do much of it, just a little bit. And the soil that they go into, I also put it in the soil. I figure if I'm going to invest time into these seeds and they can't handle this kind of stuff at the get-go and they die from it, then at least I don't have to invest all that time so that I can watch critters, you know, eat, eat, them, eat, them, eat them alive after they've gotten a pretty good size. It's pretty depressing. And like I said, Instead of using paper towels, I'm going to wrap them in toilet paper. And after I wrap them in toilet paper, I'm going to put them in Ziplocs. Zip, Ziploc bags. And after I put them in the Ziploc baggies, I let them sit in there for six days. After six days, I take them out. I've also heard that you can check up on them in three days to see how they're doing. That's when they really start to take off. And some people even take them out at three days, but I've heard six days, so I'm going to let them stay in the Ziploc for six days. Okay, now after six days, I will come back and make another video and keep you guys updated. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Comment if you'd like. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you.